Hi, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Pisces, this is your monthly read for March. And as you can see, <clears throat> or depending on when you find this, obviously, uh, I'm a bit into the month already, but I wanted to do it anyway. But you can think of it as four to six weeks into the future, as you can always do with my readings. It's not just for this week or whatever. It's, it's when it's supposed to be, really. And I just want to start by saying thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes your um, donations to this channel. It really helps the channel a lot and therefore it really helps me a lot. So thank you so much, guys. Um, there's so much going on in my life uh, at the moment. And if you want to hear about it, some of it, uh, you can go check out the um, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done reading, uh, which is about my son getting surgery and completely transforming his life and therefore ours. Um, and some other stuff going on. But I just wanted to tell you that so that you understand why, you know, sometimes you will go for days and you won't have an upload for me from me because of stuff going on. Um, first, my family, second, personal readings, and then comes YouTube. So that's the order it has to be in. So please be patient with me. Let's see, Pisces, uh, what's going on for you for the month of March? And probably a little bit into the month of April. Wow, the sun. Who had the sun as the first card? I think that was Capricorn. So maybe if you feel if you feel connected to Capricorn, please check that out. Then we have Ace of Michael. And Ace, oh my sweet lord. Pisces. What is going on for you in the month of March? <laughs> this is like... We're starting with the sun, the happiest card in the deck, with Ace of Ariel. And this is going to be like highlighted and, and like lifted even more because of the other cards being around it. Ace of Ariel together with Ace of Michael. So two aces talks about the new and because we have like a woman and a man there, I know, stereotypical, right? But there can also be like a soulmate connection happening in the month of March for you. Month of March, month of April, give or take. But two new aces representing the new energy. My goodness, with the sun. Something is really blissful for you in the month of March. Let's see. Let's dive deeper here. The sun. Can we clarify the sun? What do you want to say about the sun for, uh, uh, not Aquarius, for Pisces, please? I just did a reading for Aquarius, but, so that might be why I slipped up, but it might also be that you have a connection with Aquarius. If you do, please check it out. Pisces, for the month of March, give or take. What do we have? There you go reach out climbing the ladder getting higher up maybe feeling like you're being stuck there because it has been a little bit of a darker moment to get higher up but that's now letting go in the month of um i <laughs> just have to say this looks like the eurovision logo so the eurovision uh not the eurovision is going on but the sort of pre all the I'm not sort of into them anymore, but I know that they're going on uh, where they're competing for to have like the best song win now in, in Sweden. And they might be doing these things around the at least European un Union, um, European countries. I think they just started this uh, in the US where all the states are competing against each other with the best song. But we've been doing it since before Jesus walked this earth. Um, and there's something with the logo here that reminds me or even looks like the Eurovision logo. I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe someone is like super into this, super into this contest music um, Eurovision thing. You might be in, even be a part of it somehow. Or you're just a fanatic, really loving it. Ace of Ariel, why is that here? Love abounds. Look at that. Number one with ace, which is a one new beginning. 
And Ace of Michael, why is that here? Ace of Michael, why is that here for Pisces, please? I mean, the Sun, Ace of Ariel, and Ace of Michael. It's just bliss. With love abounds. Simply love. Love abounds and simply love. I mean, what? I'm going to do a couple of more cards on this, but we're going to get into it here. I'm actually going to read from the book for the sun today. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. It's almost like you're floating above. Like I see this horse. It's almost like the, you know, the, the, the ground that he's running upon or walking on. It's like it's melting. It's like melting wherever that horse is going, wherever you're going. Or it's like it feels like, you know, if someone expresses that they're in love or that they're they've just reached the best news or something new, exciting is starting in their life. Um, you have that expression like they were floating on air or like you're just walking on clouds right now. And I see this. We don't see this. <laughs> there you go. It's like a Yeah. Okay. Reading from the book. That was a while while ago. Um nineteen. The sun. Pisces. With the beautiful sunflowers. I'm sorry it's not really focusing. Anywho. Life is wonderful. Great things are headed your way, and your plans will succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Keep up your thoughts and words. Nope. Keep your thoughts and words positive, and you will thrive. Believe in yourself and those around you during this magical time in your life. Archangel Uriel brings brilliant epiphanies to those who ask for this help. Inspiring new ideas lead the way to abundance and happiness. Public recognition or awards are also very possible during this time. An, an additional uh, meanings of this card is happiness, a trustworthy relationship that we, we have Ace of Ariel and Ace of Michael there. Um, a trustworthy relationship, understanding oneself and personal satisfaction. I mean... Okay, I'm going to read this because I'm drawn there. I usually never read this. This is what, about what Uriel stands for. Uh, Uriel is the archangel known for brilliant ideas that, came, that can come in golden flashes of light. He's also associated with emotional healing and understanding. Call upon Archangel Uriel whenever you're searching for a sunny disposition that brings with it success and exuberance. So, like, you get the energy here. Like, this is, like I said, the, the best card in the deck. It's like, I think these are sought after news. Like, you've been waiting for this moment. If there's been a struggle up, and, um, but up until this point, things are, things are getting solved now. We have reach out. So I think that you need a little bit of push, Pisces, to think that this is actually happening, to believe that things are good from here on out. I'm not saying that there's not ever, ever, ever again going to be an issue. I mean, we're going through the greatest transformation probably ever lived on this planet right now. So obviously there's going to be stuff, but not in the sense of you feeling that you can tackle whatever's being given to you you know this is more like changing a position altogether and from the new position you know what to like to take on and, and how to solve things you know but this is like when we've been stuck for a while in an old belief 
system or like an old pattern of thinking that life is hard or life is a struggle or, you know, when is the other shoe going to drop? It's always coming from that place of it has to be tough, you know, and if it goes smoothly for a while, there's something else, like other news about it's being tough. And this is when we're coming out of that. Like you've been sitting there for a while and I just feel like you have almost anchored in there thinking this is what life needs to be. One, there's great news from one direction and then there's awful news from another direction. Like there's always something and that doesn't have to be true anymore. You don't have, but so this is what I feel like the rest of the cards and the sun card. This is the only one that is speaking a little bit of like hardship or that we're sort of stuck in our old ways and it might be that you're not even aware of it that it's like come so accustomed to you that if you were to say like are you having like a hard life you probably immediately would say no like no I have not harder than, than anyone else or like you might say that yeah I mean <laughs> yeah sometimes it's a little bit tricky but I mean this is the type of energy it is like no you've gotten used to some heaviness You've gotten, you've gotten used to some heaviness and so you have normalized the heaviness. This is not how it's supposed to be. It's not how it's supposed to feel. It's supposed to feel, well, it was supposed to feel that way for a while so that you can clear out what you don't want and clear out what you do want. And now that's done. So we need to move up. And I feel like that is on you, Pisces. And you probably feel called right now. You can be called in feeling really way like below surface right now or feeling really excited about where to go. It's probably not a middle. It's going to be like a top or a bottom at this moment. And if you're on the bottom, then like literally ask for it to change. Ask your angels. Ask Uriel to just bring in some light in your situation. And I just feel like the this is like when the flood is streaming so like the, the, I don't want to say rage because it's not a rage, but when the force, when the strength of the river is like so strong, it's going to carry you with it, whether sort of you want to or not. Like you don't have to be afraid that you're going to get stuck or be stuck in the situation that you're in, that you're in, if you feel stuck, um, because sort of the river will take you. Then we have Ace of Ariel, which is like, it's your lucky day, new resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or promotion. So this might literally mean that you've gotten a new job. You're finally seeing some money coming in. If you've been stuck financially, that's going to change. If this is you being a little bit bored at your job or feel, feeling overwhelmed at your job, um, this is also changing right now. So th there's support coming in to... Like whatever you need help with, whatever, whatever has been feeling like, maybe you felt like buried under, um, I can't say that without saying the thing that I heard the other day, talking about buried. I just heard this best like quote, like if you really are in some darkness, like in a really dark place, you might feel that you're buried. You're just buried under the earth. But in fact, you're being planted. I was like, oh my God, that's so good. Like you're not buried under the dirt or in the darkness. You're being planted. Everything, like you're a seed and everything is growing and everything is up from here. And that's what, this, that's what Ace of Ariel is. Ace of Ariel, like Ariel is manifestation and love. Ace is the highest possible energy. Ace talks about the new coming in, new energy flooding into this situation, whether it's relationships job situation, financial situation, your health, whatever it is, it's like you're going to see like this lift. There's a lifting of the energy, like finally. Together with love abounds. This is like, this is you. I mean, it's the third eye there as well. Like you're seeing from a place of love. You're coming from a place of love. At least you're trying to. You're really recognizing, um, I'm getting a lot of personal growth, like, like you're really recognizing your part in this, your part in your own life. If we've been wanting to sort of, 
I know how easy that is, is to sort of like blame someone else for your hardship or blame, like, why can't they just do what they're, like, they're causing drama in my life or they're causing conflict in my life and blah, blah, blah. They're not causing anything. They're just there to point out what was active within you from the beginning. And I, and I know that's a tough one. And I know you already know this. And this is because of the change that, you, that change that you already are doing yourself. Like I see the personal growth here. That you are really understanding your part in it. So that you can come from a loving and understanding place. But this is like love abounds. This is when you're starting to actually step into the love vibration. And not too many people that I know of is in this vicinity. I mean, we have little mini explosions everywhere now because people are either sort of leaving this earth or a transformation needs to take place. You sort of can't stay put in the old ways. You probably see that around you. You probably feel that within you. And you're headed towards the love. You're headed towards where it's going to feel lighter, more loving, more understanding from you to others and from others to you. And I just want to point out, we're going to pull a card on that, but we have a connection here. We have Ace of Michael and Ace of Ariel, the woman and the man, which can be a woman and a woman, a man and a man. Um, that there may, might be a soulmate connection. This usually is for the romantic kind, but this can also be like a soulmate. Like a soulmate can be an animal. A soulmate can be a friend. A soulmate can be someone that just comes in as a mentor, as a teacher, or as a, or, or you might be the mentor and teacher at sort of meeting up with someone who really is a state in a stage of learning right now, or like, it's just a blissful meeting. So we're just going to pull a card on that. But I just want to start with the energy that we had before. Simply love I feel that um, this can be a little bit of being nostalgic and thinking about like how it was easier times before, how, you know, it, it was better before it was, you know, the, the, the old good, the, the good old times or like things like that. If you're going to reminisce or if you're going to be nostalgic, just look up so that you are reminiscing about love. I mean, we have Ace of Ariel, Ace of Michael, we have the sun, we have love abounds, we have simply love. So it's like you're surrounded by this love bomb right now. No narcissistic um, implications there. But just being purely in, in the love vibration. And let's call it excitement or passion or inspiration. Feeling that the energy is moving in the right direction is also how it can feel. And if you get then a little bit, because you might not have like an actual evidence that this is now taking place in your outer, in your outer world just yet. If you're like, what are you talking about? I'm swamped. I'm swamped at work. My relationship is a little bit rocky. Maybe not with your immediate like partner, but maybe with friends or children or parents or whatever. Like it's a little bit rocky. Um, what are you talking about? Then even more so, if you reminisce or being nostalgic, think about the good old days in the sense that it was not better then and therefore it's worse now. Just the fact that it felt really good back then. And so when you feel about or think about something that feels really good back then, that's what you activate now. But if you think about it in the terms of it's gone, it will never be here again, when am I going to su succeed at my job? Like, what's the next step? What, 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 will I ever meet someone? You know, those are not the things to reminisce about. So th just be a little bit careful about, like, just check yourself. Where, where, where's your head at? Where are your thoughts at? Are you excited for new love? Are you excited for new connections? Are you excited for the next phase in your job? Whatever. And this is also like, I mean, simply love, right? We have love abounds and that's what I felt like you're coming more from a loving place and, and like from a loving perspective. But sometimes that's easier said than done, right? Sometimes it's like, I don't want to come from a loving place. I want to feel this shitty about this person or whatever. For the love of yourself, allow yourself to feel whatever you, whatever you, whatever it is, it is that you need to feel in the moment. But you'll feel when this is over and done with. 
you feel when you have gone over the same situation over and over again and there's just nothing new there. We're not moving forward. We're not, you know, it's just a repetition now. So, and this is what we're looking at to get out of. Like, look at your story. Look at what is the story that you're telling yourself because you have enormous potential around you right now. I mean, enormous potential, enormous opportunities. So let's look, let's look at this um, Ace of Ariel and Ace of Michael. What is this Ace of Ariel and Ace of Michael? First, we need to detach. Okay, I'm getting masculine and feminine as well. Well, it's a divinely guided meeting, that's for sure. Detach, 11 and 7. 7, 11. <laughs> you might meet someone at 7, 11. Um, what if you did? Detach and crown chakra. So detach there is about letting go of the old. This is what I'm saying. Okay, a couple of things coming through. So I feel like this is maybe for like two or three percent. So this is not going to be for a lot of you guys, but like, and it's not, but it's not a side note. It's, it, it is for some of you guys. There is a relationship that does not serve you to keep around anymore. It might sound harsh and it might feel harsh. It might feel harsh to the person that you're saying, I need to cut the cord. Sometimes we don't even have to tell the person that we're cutting the cord. You can just sort of do it like as a, almost like a ritual or as a contract with yourself. Like you're, you're maybe even writing out a contract. I'm cutting the cords to this person. Um, there's someone coming back around, not for the highest good of anyone. It's just because it's convenient for them. And so there's something you need to let go of. For you other guys, I just feel for you Pisces that there's a version. This is what I'm saying with the nostalgia. If you think that you have already gone through a friendship, romantic partnership, business partner, family member situation, if you think that you have already sort of reached the top, it, like, oh my, if I could have back, that, that back again. That is like, I'll, or even hearing you're saying, I'll never have that again. Like that was like a once in a lifetime. No, it's not. It's not a once in a lifetime. It's asking you to let go of any, this is also easier said than done, but like any previous relationships that you're romanticizing a little bit. Like you're like, it was so much ba better way back then, you know? If you can let go of that, you know who you are, you will feel like, yeah, I know that there's a relationship that I'm thinking about. Whether it's like a beautiful friend, like you wish you could have that friend back or you wish that you could have that loving partner back or it was so good when me and so-and-so were like on good terms in a family situation. If you can just try to let that go and say, okay, that was what it was for. It played its part in the bigger scheme of things. I might not understand it right now, but... That's not the end of all good, but it's something that sort of hinders you a little bit to move into this beautiful connection. So we need to let go of that. And, and just to, it can also be like, let go. Let go of, of how you think things should play out or pan out right now. Like, let go of the situation that you're in altogether, whether it's about relationships or a uh, job related situation, a health situation, um, someone, um, even back to the people that has a connection with someone that just doesn't really, it's not healthy anymore to even let go of that. Like, I'm not going to even think about it right now. I don't know if I'm going to cut the course with it or not. I'm just not going to think about it. I'm just going to let it go for now and not think about it. Cause we have the crown chakra. Something is divinely guided here. This is like meant, this is like destiny divinely orchestrated. This is when um, these two, this connection is a, needs to happen. Like it's just going to happen. It's just written in the stars. It's written in the cards. It's written everywhere. Like it's, it's going to happen. 
but let go try to get yourself out of this little state here first and and feel to where you're being drawn right now because there's so much love around you so much potential around you and there's this extraordinary connection that wants to be made right now that is here it's like ready new beginnings new energy coming in it's so much potential okay i just want to say one final thing before i get some cards from the angels if you're starting to feel this way like you're starting to like yeah no i i do feel it i feel like i'm on the right path you might even be so I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today and I've come out of stomach flu and even like inflammation <laughs> in places one shouldn't have inflammation in. I should say what it is because now you think, what? Um, I understand that my body has been like out of sorts, out of balance and, and done a huge cleansing. Um, and even so, even feeling under the weather, I just feel the excitement for the new. Like I know there's new stuff coming in here and it's like I'm I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. I'm so excited for it. And so even if you feel a little bit like under the weather or feel like a little bit out of sorts, you probably have already started to feel like, no, things are shifting. Like you feel it in the air or in your own energy. If you're starting on this path, you're starting on, on um you're starting on this path and I'm told to listen to this myself now. So I will listen to this myself now. Um, and things are starting out. It's going great. You feel the energy. You feel the excitement. You feel like I'm going on the right path here. And then this tiny little thing happens. There's one more little bump. There's one more little obstacle. It just arises and it's like, it's not for you to say, oh, I'm back here. It'll never work. There, There's the other shoe. You know, try to, Try to ignore it almost like it's non-existent. Try to be as disrespectful to the obstacle that you m mostly can. To just talk to the hand. I'm not interested in any more bumps. That was the old way. It just feels like an echo. An echo is going to show up a little bit due to previous, re uh, previous um, energies. And try to ignore it as much as you can. So there might be a little bump that is taking place and it's like, la la la, that might have been in the past, but that's not what's going to happen now. And sort of just go ahead, just m continue forward. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will listen to this myself. Uh, final messages here for Pisces, please. These messages are just getting longer and longer, these March messages. Oh, forgiveness. And I'm feeling this in every single direction. And I'm the first person to say, don't forgive where, where you're not ready to forgive. And forgive yourself for not being ready to forgive. Because like some people take longer than others. And some situations has just run deeper than others. And whenever you're ready to forgive good like don't feel guilty for not being able to forgive but where you can forgive you're going to feel just such a lift off your shoulders or like another, another way of saying this is like where was it there the detachment like you're stepping out of something that doesn't bog you down anymore it doesn't have any um it, it can't control you any longer if that's e a, 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 you know equivalent to forgiveness, maybe. So just feel and also feel towards yourself to forgive yourself for things. You're doing the best that you can, Pisces. In whatever situation, if you need to cut cords with someone, you're doing the best that you can. Forgive yourself for that. Like you need to think about yourself. If you need to forgive yourself for previous choices in your life, for continue to do something that like I'm, that's what I'm saying like forgive yourself for not being able to forgive if you continue to do certain things that you you just know it's not good for you it's not good for the people involved either it's not it's not good for your health it's not good for anyone then it's okay because you're doing the best that you can forgive yourself for 
forgive yourself and just know that you're doing the best that you can. So there's really nothing to forgive, is it? That's what I have for you. So much potential, so much opportunities. Love abounds. The happiest card in the deck. It's like, this is what we're coming into. The sun. Life is wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in your own personal reading, please look up um, the <laughs> information in the description and send me a message. Um, otherwise, thank you so much. Bye.